Howdy, <clears throat> JP here. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at a tool that I've been using for a little while now that has helped me greatly in lowering my standard deviation into the single digit. And that tool is the Reading Instant Indicator Compatter Tool. Um, this is it right here. Um, I do have a case of um, bullets here because we will need it for the demonstration. Um, <clears throat> so what is this? Um, this is a tool that will allow you to precisely measure how consistent your rounds will end up being overall um, and therefore consistency across the board translating to um, more um, more accuracy so what can we measure with it well the first thing that we can see uh, well first of all let's just uh, say some things about the tool itself the tool is caliber specific um, meaning that it's not interchangeable between calibers if you have a 300 Winchester Magnum which is what I have over here it's going to be specific to that caliber you cannot use it in a 300 Weatherby Magnum per se <clears throat> so um, that is the only downside to this tool because it is a little bit expensive um, and on a side note too um, there are two versions of this tool um, one of them comes with the Reading dial, the other doesn't. Uh, this is the version that doesn't come with it. Um, I learned that before buying it that I could use my Hornady dial in it and so I was able to save a little bit of money there. But if you want the one that comes with the Reading dial, um, they do also sell it with the dial. Alright, <clears throat> so that being said, um, let's just see so it comes with this um with this um sami specification um case is very thick um and it will help you um to determine um some matrices of your reloading parameters um one of them is that you can measure precisely the case this is a 308 case but just for argument sakes, sakes you can measure precisely um, how tall the case is <clears throat> and then you can when you're measuring across your lot right you can separate and segregate you can segregate um, your cases based on um, how big they are in comparison to this here or a case that um, that you intend to use um, so so that's pretty neat right um it, it really truly um, you, I th I'm pretty sure that um, you can measure within five thousandths of an inch um, <clears throat> so that that is the first thing that you could do with it right so measure um, your case length the second thing that you could do with it and it's very very important and I advise everybody to start doing this <clears throat> is measure um, bullets by ogive I used to segregate bullets by weight um, and now I do both um, I segregate them by weight and once I have a you know a collection of bullets that um, you know they all weight exactly the same weight then I go in and I measure them based on the ogive and so this tool here will allow you to do that so you can further more um, <clears throat> um, narrow down um, your bullet um, depending on on how consistent they are according to the tool so that's uh, the second thing that you could do with it the third thing that you could do with it is that you're able to measure um, your overall length, your cartridge overall length based on the ogive of the bullet, right? So once you know that 
<clears throat> all of your bullets have exact same O jive. Once you make your round, you're able to, um, you know, measure them. If one is, you know, if you're not there yet, you're able to make the necessary adjustments on your sitting die and make sure that every single round that you end up producing um, has exact same measurement, um, you know, to the ogive. All right, so that's the third thing that you are able to measure. And the very last thing that you can actually do as well with this tool um, is measure your headspace. So um, once you know what your headspace is um, in your chamber, then you can adjust um, your dies and make sure that you get the right shoulder pump or whatever it may be so that uh, you get the, the exact same um, um, kit um, headspace that you need, right? So those are the four things that you can do with it. Um, I know that before having this tool, um, you know, my um, my standard deviation was um, a little bit high in the uh, around 15, 16, and then <clears throat> after I started using this, this tool here um, and measuring all those aspects of um, my reloading and making sure that everything was extremely consistent, um, you know, I was able to bring that down. Um, there's one thing that I do also, um, and that is um, checking for run out. Um, I don't neck turn. I've, you know, I've, I've talked to a lot of people that do, and the gains that you get from neck turning in comparison to the work and the time that is required to neck turn are not um, are not very rewarding, right? Um, you spend a lot of time and a lot of work to get a very re very little return in return. So um, that's one thing I don't do. But um, once everything is said and done, I you know I check for a run out and I make sure that. Um, all my bullets, all my all my rounds are consistent. Um, if they're not, you know, if I find one or two that have a little bit run out, I would normally run it through the die again, and uh, that normally takes care of that. And if I can't get rid of it, I just put it aside and take it out of the lot that uh, that I've just produced. And I've been doing it for for a while now, <clears throat> and it has proven to be a practice that is very very um, um, very good. Um, the accuracy that I'm getting out of um, my 300 Winchester Magnum rifle um, is exceptional. Um, the standard deviation, I'm hovering around 7 or 8 right now, and that is extremely, extremely good. So I advise anyone out there that is, um, you know, that, you, that is looking to get the most out of your rifle, you want to get your lowest standard deviation, um, and you want to make sure that everything is consistent. Um, this is one really good tool to use. Um, <clears throat> the only downside to this tool is, like I mentioned before, it is caliber specific, and you also have to buy the dial separate in some cases. Um, in some cases, it comes with the dial from Redding, and that um, and that's that's about it. Um, in my area, this tool costs around $185. In the United States, um, I assume it's a little bit cheaper than that, and you can get it for, for you know, if it's on sale, even lower than that. Well, anyways, um, thanks so much, guys, for watching. Um, you could definitely leave any comments or concerns down below, and that um, stay tuned. There will be more videos coming soon.